Welcome to the Introduction to Computer Science, Security and Privacy. This is Lecture A. The component, Introduction to Computer Science, provides a basic overview of computer architecture, data organization, representation and structure, the structure of programming languages, and networking and data communication. It also includes the basic terminology of computing. The objectives for this unit, Security and Privacy, are to define cybercrime and cybersecurity, List common information technology or IT security and privacy concerns. List the hardware components that are usually attacked by hackers. Explain some of the common methods of attack. Describe common types of malware. Explain social engineering methods used by cyber criminals. Describe methods and tools available for protection against cyber attacks. Describe practices designed to minimize the risk of successful cyber attack. Address specifics of wireless device security. Explain security and privacy concerns associated with electronic health records, or EHRs. Describe security safeguards used for healthcare applications. And provide the basics of ethical behavior online. In this lecture, we'll define computer crime, or cybercrime, and its nemesis, computer security, also known as cybersecurity or IT security. We will identify common security and privacy threats and concerns, and describe which devices are commonly attacked by hackers. According to Wikipedia, cybercrime is crime that involves a computer and a network. The computer may have been used in the commission of a crime, or it may be the target. According to Dr. Halder and Dr. Jashenker, cybercrimes are offenses that are committed against individuals or groups of individuals with a criminal motive to intentionally harm the reputation of the victim, or cause physical or mental harm or loss to the victim directly or indirectly using modern telecommunication networks such as internet, chat rooms, emails, notice boards and groups, and mobile phones. Again, according to Wikipedia, computer security, also known as cybersecurity or IT security, is the protection of information systems from theft or damage to the hardware, the software, and to the information on them, as well as from disruption or misdirection of the services they provide. It goes on to clarify, it includes controlling physical access to the hardware, as well as protecting against harm that may come via network access, data and code injection, and due to malpractice by operators, whether intentional, accidental, or due to them being tricked into deviating from secure procedures. So what are common cybercrimes and how do they hurt us? The potential for lost, stolen, or compromised data is a real concern. It could be personal data, such as checking and credit card account numbers, or corporate data, such as specifications for a new high-tech product. Corporate secrets may be stolen and sold to competitors, putting a company out of business and causing the loss of jobs. When your name, social security number, and date of birth are compromised, it can lead to identity theft and impersonation. Usually, this type of theft results in opening multiple credit lines in the victim's name, with subsequent money withdrawal by a criminal. Another common consequence of personal data being compromised is blackmail. For example, a threat to disclose medical information unless certain actions are taken, such as paying large sums of money to the person who wrongly accessed the data. Last but not least, a compromised computer system may lose some or all of its functionality. Network security and data security breaches can cause business downtime. If a company such as Google, Amazon, or eBay were not secure, think of the ramifications of a shutdown of their websites for part or all of a business day. Consider the financial repercussions for those businesses, their employees, and their customers. In considering security, it is important to ask, which devices are usually attacked? Routers are particularly vulnerable, and routers are everywhere. Routers send traffic from private networks to the Internet and from the Internet to private networks. Individuals have routers in their home networks, most businesses use routers, and Internet service providers or ISPs use routers. If a hacker can successfully attack a router, all network traffic going through that router can be intercepted and viewed. Another device that is commonly attacked is the web server, which is a device that hosts websites. A website is made up of all of the web pages, images, and files that are stored on or can be downloaded from that site. If a hacker can successfully attack a web server, the server may lose some or all of its functionality and sensitive information can be stolen. Attacks are also made on computers, which of course store confidential personal and corporate data. As we already discussed, if a hacker can gain access to this type of information, they may use it for personal gain. 
Alternatively, through a successful attack, a hacker may acquire total control of the computer and use it for illegal activity, such as staging attacks on other computers. This concludes Lecture A of Security and Privacy. In summary, this lecture defined cybercrime and cybersecurity, listed common IT security and privacy concerns, and listed hardware components that are usually attacked by hackers.